Welcome back. I know I'm a little late, but I had a phone call that I need to finish, but I am here. Uh, 55 minutes late to be exact. What's up, bro? Where you been at, man? You've been the most fallen off person that I know. Pro, I guess, is the other one. Y'all both been MIA. What's good? But yes, welcome back, uh, Leg 150 today. He said, who? Pro 2. You and Pro 2. Today we're going from Lu Luana. Was it Luana? Let me see. Hold on. I remember this. It was like Lu It wasn't Luanda. It was Luanda. From Luanda to... Uh, where we're going is very close to Brazzaville, but it's not Brazzaville exactly, uh, Luanda to, hold on, let me cook, it should be, uh, is it Kinshia? Yeah, it's a Kinshia, and I think we go from Kinshia to Brazzaville, but I'm not 100% sure. He said never left. Bro, we ain't played the game in a minute. What you mean? All right. So for today's flight's detail, uh, we're climbing at twenty-three thousand feet, traveling three hundred and forty-five nautical miles, carrying fourteen thousand seven hundred and thirty-six pounds of fuel. Wait, why did it say I have cargo? Hold on. We gonna have to make some adjustments. This. He said you be on. Bro, I've been out here grinding all by myself. All by myself. Your boy got 51 crowns. All by, for the most part, all by. <laughs> Come on, man. I be on these games to play with my friends, not to play by myself. All right, so we had a readjustment in the flight plan. All right, we're climbing to 33,000 feet, traveling 345 miles. Carrying 13,637 pounds of fuel. Alright, so good deal. Let's get into it. Import there. Request there. Alright. It's cool. And I'm just going to do an instant load because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. Here, sink, sink. We don't have any weather. Let's see, you said we're going to 30, 33,000, right? Yeah, 33,000. So come on, Cam, what you been up to, bro? Like, homie been, uh, he be here, but he don't be here. You be lurking, that's what it is. 33,000 cost index 50 and we are Airbus 150 today Well for this leg. Yeah, that's right. We're doing three legs today. So one of them is extremely short like probably not even 10 minutes, but Could you play your game? Oh Excuse me. I'm sorry My bad, I don't mean to be impeding on your game. Alright. I think the only thing now we need to let do is put the weights in. Nose. So let's see. 97, 26.9. Fuel 13.6. We are ready for pushback. All right. Speeds, I don't really, because I don't know the weather here. Can I get a? All right, we got some weather. All right, let's put this in and see what it gives us. Winds are one nine zero five. Launcher checks completed. Bypass being sorted. Temperature is 28. Altimeter is 1010. What does that equate to? Two 
2983. Calculate. Send to CDU. Alright, we got that in up five. Marking gear. Let's clear these messages out. Bro said he be in, he was on the game yesterday. But you be getting on the game and not even saying, Hey bro, I'm playing. Or are you busy? You wanna play? So it doesn't even matter. It don't even matter. Two K or Call of Duty breaks release. Commencing push. All engines clear. Oh, come on, bro! Contact you gotta get on Fortnite too, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta mix it up a little bit. All right, let's start number two. I don't know what they doing. Whoa, that was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, the uh, APU bleed is not on. Alright. So I gotta reach out every time and say I'm playing? What you mean? Oh, we might have a broken airplane here. Let's try this again. Oh, wait, it was just starting, wasn't it? Alright, there's the airflow again. Now let's try it. There we go. You got Nad? Oh. I was saying that, um. So I gotta say, hey, Cam, I'm playing. You wanna play every single time? Was a gooby goober. Seems kind of lopsided, don't you think? I'm not saying play at randoms. Break set. Starting number one. I mean, I I typically don't play with random. He <laughs> said no. I don't play with randoms unless I'm just like doing quests or something. But for the most part, I'll do solos. Playing with Cry Cry sometimes feel like I'm playing with randoms if if that's a quick equivalent. That's just about it. Are you trolling? I don't know, bro. I'll just be trying to play the game. Just be trying to play the game. Clean this up really quick here. Let's take a look here. I didn't set up. Alright, so we got it taken off on 23. No Sid. Landing on 7. No arrival. Clear it. Oh, dang. I think it's jumped. Clear the discount. Same thing towards the end. Clear the discount. What the heck did it just do? It's interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that really threw me for a loop there. Alright, so we good. Oh, I push my tail the wrong way. 23 is the opposite way. Oh, 23 is a different runway. Alright. This still should be cool. Perhaps two. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put T 
TCAS to auto. Taxi light is on. Let's put the takeoff light on. All right, we should be good. So what's been going on otherwise, bro? Getting new PC parts? Anything like that? Have you talked to your brother? I ain't seen him in a minute. He's <laughs> like, who's my brother? Or he's not my brother. for takeoff because slow it down that was a hard break too this is runway 25 yeah let's just say we're going to take off from 25 because this is crazy I don't feel like taxiing a 2-3 hold on now it's talking about check takeoff data 2-5 Calculate. Alright, so we're good. Let me just clear that. Is it telling me uh, flaps one? It is. So let's go for flaps one then. All right, let's rock and roll. Let me just put my TCAST T R C A R A. Take off, man. Flex SRS auto gross blue. What's up, goofy dude? How you doing, man? Caught me right on the takeoff roll. You want to rotate? It's a positive rate. Good. It's always good to hear. Welcome to the stream. We are on leg 150 of 236. All right, let's transition out to climb thrust. Start our turn. Let's, let me ask you this. What's your favorite airplane, bro? I like to ask that question to all the newcomers. He said, hmm. Yeah, make you think a little bit. All right, on course, speeding up to 200 knots. So I'm gonna put flaps one up and let me disarm the spoilers. And I'll just turn off exterior lights at this point. I'm going to put it in plan mode and take a look at this flight plan because I think I see a discrepancy uh, closer to the field. I just want to make sure I'm not making any necessary turns. So, yeah, there. 
It's gonna take us to KSA before it takes us to the final fix before landing, and I think I'm just gonna delete that KSA because it's pointless. Sukhoi SU-57. Okay, so you a jet guy, man of culture. All right. Why the Sukhoi over the F-22? You don't mind me asking? <laughs> Cause what? All right, so we're coming through 9,000 for 33,000. My after takeoff checks are already complete. Uh, overhead panel looks pretty good. Looking at the center pedestal, it looks pretty good too. Don't have to mess with anything really. So let's continue the climb is a good one. You're not really in the airplanes? Ah, so what are you into then? You just know a lot about them? That's different. I never heard of somebody who knew a lot about airplanes but wasn't into them. Retro games? There's some pretty good retro games that I like. Uh, how, how far retro back are we, you talking? Like Atari? Or are we just talking about like, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo? Like Doom, the first Doom? I think I had the first Doom on PC. Is that Doom? Is Doom the one where you're basically like in a, not in a room, but you're like in a maze type situation, kind of like GoldenEye, and you're running around killing everybody? And Doom came out in 90, the comic came out in 96. Diablo, that's, is, or is that the one? I don't remember which one it was. It wasn't Diablo. I think it was Doom. All I remember is I changed my character to like, uh, I think it was Sonic or Super Sonic and we were just all running around shooting each other. We're talking about retro games. He said Doom, like as far back as Doom, but uh, Doom, Doom was on PS8, no. It's a 1993 video game. Also now here, yeah, he's way back. Yeah, because this ain't the one I played. That is not the Doom I played. He said, oh, never mind, bye, bruh. Was it Doom 2? I feel like it was Doom. You play Fortnite a little bit too? Yeah, I play Fort too. Yeah, looking at Doom PC, I think that was the game I was playing back in the day. All I remember was running around in Sonic, because I downloaded that uh, add-on or whatever it was. And we would just run around and shoot each other on multiplayer. I'm trying to see, I, I believe it was Doom. That'll be my final answer. Diablo 1 and 2. I've never played any of the Diablo series. As a matter of fact, I think I have all my PC games right here. 
all my old ones at least. Oh, you know what? No, I was wrong. It was Quake. Have you ever played Quake? Quake 3 to be exact. No? Yeah, that's the one I was running around. It gives me a Doom vibe though. Let me see. Quake 3 Arena. Yeah, that's it right there. It looks a lot like Doom. Pretty sure one of them copied off each other or something at some point. But... So, are you really good in Fortnite? I'm going at 33,000 now. Let's continue to climb. He said, kinda. How long you been playing? I've been playing since. The last two chapters of season. That's it, all right? Whatever vibing was. The last two chapters of vibing. Oh, you've been playing for a while. You better be good playing that long. <laughs> I'm probably like chapter three season. I don't even know what seven. Fortnite. Yeah, vibing. That's the one that I started in. And the only way that I remember it is when I started playing, Goku first came out. You skipped all the chapter three? I missed some pretty cool skins in chapter three. I tell you that much because uh, I came on late in the game. This is season one. So it wasn't chapter three, season two for sure. Chapter three, season three. So I started at the end of that, and then I went into chapter three, season four, Paradise with the uh, the Chrome. And I've been on it ever since. I definitely missed out on some cool skins. Dang, that's crazy. Twenty seven thousand for thirty three thousand. Uh we'll probably be it but by the time we get to cruise altitude it'll be like mm, maybe fifteen minutes before we start to head down again. That's wild. And you know what? I need to update the title because I know I said we we're only doing one leg today, but that is wrong. We are doing one fifty 151 and 152 F Zab Let's see uh Zab to F CCB and then FCC FCBB and then FCBB to fifty 
F F E F F. All right. All right. So I just updated the title here. Oh shoot. Because it was a little misleading there. How did I mess this up so many times? What the heck? Alright, so there, there we go. So we're going from Luanda to Kinshasa. Right? Then from Kinshasa to to Brazzaville, that's what I thought. Then from Brazzaville to Brazzaville to I don't even know how to pronounce this Bangui Bangui yeah, that sounds about right so my plan is land have you heard of make out here oh yeah that's my boy I watch him all the time well at least in the mornings so he be streaming extra early MOH plan is to land and I'm just gonna taxi and then the next airport is like six miles away so it's just extremely short hop and then I'll land there and park and then our flight plan for the last leg because it makes no sense to me to park for a six nautical mile trip. Who else do you watch other than Make Out Hill? Thirty two five for thirty three thousand, and we're just about there. From the looks of it, what I wonder. All right, it was a showing me the uh alternate route for the um, alternate yeah the alternate route for the alternate well, we are only like 202 miles away so it's like 20 minutes or so off the top of my head we can check weather the destination really quick just to make sure that it will be an, a pleasant approach. Alright, it's not giving us any weather. Let's try this way. Right, nothing there. This airport, all right. So, winds are calm, 7,000 meters of visibility, fuel at 1800, 28 degrees. And let's also look at Brazzaville real quick since it's so close. Winds are 2404, 8,000 meters of visibility. All right, so visibility is not too bad. We might have some winds, four knots, between four and zero knots is not too bad either. 
What's up, J Bug? Long time no see, buddy. It's crazy. We was just talking about Make Out Hill. Literally, he's just talking about Make Out Hill. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see the chat before you. A guy named Goofy Dude 6969. He asked about Make Out Hill. Hopefully you've been behaving yourself. Oh, so you're both of them then. He said, not really. He said, but yes. Nah, you've been bad, man. You was bad before. He said, oh, yes. Do you have two accounts, sir? Did just get extremely cloudy. No. How did you and uh goofy dude say wow exactly the same at the same time? I mean it I don't know. Yeah, you answered on the wrong account. This is you don't. Well, if it's true, he's the one that told me about Make Out Hill a long time ago. So, it uh oh. I know you are. Trust me, you gotta remember I got I got daughters too. But hopefully all has been well. You still got them dogs. You really do like the Sukhoi though. I mean it's okay. But I think the uh F twenty two is still better than the Sukhoi. You said the fifty seven. I'm not even sure if that's the newest Sukhoi that they have out. So, oh yeah, that is a new one. Um, <laughs> he said the dogs don't know. <laughs> no, he was crying. What about the, don't you got chickens? I, I, I feel like you have chickens. Yeah, I do four. Yeah, see, you wouldn't have been, I don't even think you were in the video games when I was playing Quake. It's taking so long. Well, you live out in the country, right? So, I mean, your internet's not about to be that great. Are you on Wi-Fi or are you... Wired. Wow. Yeah, that's your problem right there. Mm -hmm. 
definitely need to get wired. So when's the last time you played Fortnite, kid? Alright, let's talk about enter destination data, but I don't have any destination data to enter. But one thing I do need to look up is see what the elevation for this airfield is because that way I can plan my elevation is 951 feet so it's a thousand feet PC like it looks good or does it run good too? Because aren't you in like an Xbox? The best way to go, make your own PC. So I definitely understand. You should have his dad make you one and that solves all your problems. Then trade in your Xbox for a PC. <laughs> I know. So why do you have two Twitch accounts? Let's talk about that. Oh, you have a PC already? Parts for it. Let's see here. Sea of Thieves, what's that? What is it about? Sea of Thieves. It's almost time I start descending too, so I gotta pay attention to that. Uh, 45 miles. No, I, I've never heard of Sea of Thieves. do know I don't play like a lot of games, right? She said yes. So you gonna tell me what Sea of Thieves is or no? Now just tell me what it's about. Alright, so since our elevation is a thousand, we'll go down to four thousand. I'll set that in the MCP really quick and then uh we can roll from there. You gotta find that out. Why do I have to find that out? Kind of sounds like a setup. All right, link me, send me a link to it, and I'll take a quick look. 
He said it's like you're a pirate. I got a pirate dad joke for you, all right? You ready? Fix here is our back, our back, not our back, but our back. We got 9,740 pounds of food. CFDs.com. All right, thank you. I'll click on that link here in a second. Do you want to hear my dad joke about pirates? What is a pirate's favorite type of movie? <laughs> One that's rated R. <laughs> That one out of the dad jokes best vault. <laughs> Do you know what Captain Trips is? Shout out to Ralph. Ralph taught me about Captain Trips. Captain Trips. Captain Trips. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, it is a is named for the fictional disease outbreak described in Darren. It's from, it's from a, a book, but there was a sickness called Captain Trips. I don't think it had anything to do with pirates, but it still was funny to me. <laughs> Just testing your knowledge, kid. All right, we're about to descend here in like five miles, right? That looked like five miles, right? Ten, yes, five miles. So how's your progress in Fortnite? How many crowns do you have so far this season? I think last season I ended with 74 crowns. I can't remember. Right now I'm at 51 or 52. Something like that. Haven't won a single game this season, dang dude, you missing out. Cause you're not good at the game. Well, a lot of you guys, y'all are decent at the game. Y'all just make bad decisions in the game. Like sometimes you can be really reckless, but there's certain times where you have to really think from a point of view of combat or 
you know and you can't just run right in or not be with your team or your teammate when entering certain situations it's just how you engage a fight is the biggest thing a lot of times You should probably 1v1 my daughter and see if she's better than you or not. And that'll be a good gauge. Turns into Miles Morales. <laughs> she just started playing uh, chapter four. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing, but that's what get you killed. Cause you can't play a team game doing your own thing. And then when you go down and the rest of your team is up, you know, if it's just one other person, now they got to face two people. So then the rules of engagement become completely different. He said, well, hopefully after the flight, she's probably on right now. I have three mini flights to do. One is super short. You ain't got no mic. Don't you got, oh, you got an Xbox, that's right. I said, don't you got a... But if she beats you, then I know you're really garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna play with you. Because I be telling her, I'm like, man, you got to get better. PlayStation, that has bugged you. Oh, so you have a PlayStation? You can see my PlayStation in the back. It's still in the box. I haven't opened it. Oh, you can see part of it. Let me see. That might be a better view. Yeah, it's still back there. So why don't you fix it? You got a four. Yeah, my five is still there. Get a five in October? Six is about to come out pretty soon, I would think. Within the next year or so, right? Five was the COVID console. Seventeen thousand five hundred. Yeah, so I don't think there's any charts for this airport. Maybe there are. Okay, hold up. Yeah, there is. All right. So let's take a quick look at the airfield really quick. Uh, That's not right. No, there isn't any charts for here. I know it wouldn't trip him. Okay. There's only one way to really figure this out. And it's just to... So we have a 4,921 foot runway of asphalt, so... It should be pretty easy. No ILS. So we'll just send down the 4,000, and then once we uh, pass the CF, we should start our descent team.
saying six minutes and we're running like 35 miles I'm not even gonna come to a complete stop what I'm gonna do literally is just uh, land hopefully in the taxiway I can backtrack on and take off and fly north if the runway was short enough I would probably just do a uh, a touch and go and keep it moving but it's not short enough to do that all right lights on below 10,000 feet Fortnite Lego. I was playing it for a while in the beginning and then once they started trying to make people buy stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this no more. So, I stopped. I had like two villages. I went through my entire uh, desert realm and I was working on the ice. I mean, I didn't either, but once you see them start trying to sell stuff for it, it was just a turn off, so I left it alone. And I'm like, at the end of the day, what's the point of it? Like, you're building and doing all this searching, but what is the end goal? Do you win? You know, do you get something? There's no other people, so it's like you're surviving, but what are you surviving from, really? And I think that's more of what was just like, okay, and y'all charging, or trying to charge for stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. But it's not fun when there's no goal. It's like getting in the car and just driving, and not having nowhere to go in the end. You know you're going to return home, obviously. Or to wherever you left from, but driving with no destination is only fun for so long. Eventually, you're gonna want to get to your destination. What is the destination in Fortnite Lego? Nobody knows. So yeah, I, I just I don't fool with it no more. Just I just do creative. I've been in uh, there's a couple creative games I like to play. 1v1, Chevy Gun, uh, The Pit, sometimes Imposter. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, there's one where the game keeps changing that's pretty fun. Or uh, Go Goated Tilted Towers. For the most part, you know, I just play with my friends. Unless I'm in one v with, with every gun. I'll uh, jump in there just to practice and piss kids off. Alright, so we're at 6,800 for 4,000. Uh, need to slow down just a little bit more before we can introduce any flaps. And technically, we probably can start to lower it now. But I'll give it some speed break. So, visibility wise, anywhere between 8,000 and 7,000 meters. Alright, flaps one, there we go. Let's be on spoilers. See what the visibility is like. You can see, but you can't see at the same time. This next leg is probably going to be like the shortest leg I've ever done in my life. 
six nautical mile leg is crazy. Right now we're looking full blown IFR. All right, 1,000 feet to go. I'm gonna go ahead and set What do we say the uh, elevation here? We're looking at 1,000, right? 951. I'm going to make it 1151. So that's 200 feet off the ground. There's transition altitude. All right, we're at 4,000. Let's descend to, I want to say, 1,500. All right, flaps two. We need more drag. We're less than 10 miles. Gear down. Taxi light on. All right, so we're almost five miles. Flaps full. All right, speed brakes armed. dicey it looks like uh, I knew it would be between 6,000 I mean 8,000 and 7,000 meters but is that it right there uh, we got four miles now I want to say that's it in front of me but that does look like it Signs are not on. Why aren't the signs on? One thousand. All right, we gotta come down a little bit. Or is that it right there? It's really hard to tell which one it is. It's supposed to be asphalt, though. Think right. Think right. Low and kind of fly it that way. See, I thought that was it, but no. Is it on a road? Too low terrain. Too low terrain. This Too low looks terrain. like a street. Too low terrain. We'll just hang Too low here. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. All right, we still got like two and a half miles to Too go. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Is that it right there? Too low terrain. I see it. Okay. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Alright, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. I'm like, that is a road. There's no taxi with a back truck. 30, 20, retard. Oh, late flare. stay just like that um what I probably end up doing is just busting a u-turn and then just taking back off ah the airplanes in the scream at me but 
honestly don't care. Reaper, appreciate the 12 months. Dang, it's been a year, man. What's up, man? Uh, there ain't no wind sock, but I'm just gonna send it anyway. We're only going six miles north, right? So, full power and let's roll. OFS, I'd never heard of it. Did you work today, Reaper? Alright. Alright, so we took off and we're just gonna make a right turn. And we're not even gonna go high because we're literally going north. There's Brazzaville right there. And then climb. Alright, airplane. Only mornings till Tuesday. Well, that's good. Cause I know I would hate. Well, you like afternoons. So never mind. All right. So Brazzaville is right there, five miles in front of us. Uh, so let's make a left turn so we can intercept uh, one of those uh, northeasterly runways there. Speed, speed. Oh, we're going too slow. Think break. Built into the web browser, that's no fun. I really thought you had an Xbox. If you had an Xbox, you could probably download. It's screaming at me about my landing gear not being down. It's because I'm so low to the ground. But I don't really feel like doing a full-blown pattern, so... Yeah, because I'm doing things a little unorthodox. Just a little unorthodox. God dang, this fog is thick or these clouds are low. I probably should have did an ILS approach. This is wild. Can't really see much in front of you. This airport is right. That is crazy. This visibility is trash. <laughs> All right, it's going a little bit too fast here. Yeah, I mean, if you could see what it's like, then five hundred. Said you never tried it before. All right, we gotta make a hard right turn, y'all. There oh. she blows. Uh, let's pick the right side. Although we should have went for the left side for it to be a little bit more stable. Is this runway closed? Of course it is. They're both closed? And how the hell does that work? How do you have an airport with two closed runways? Is the airport closed? Forty, thirty, twenty, retard, five. <laughs> he said no one lands today. Literally both of them are closed. That's crazy. There is a taxiway down there. Okay, I'll just go for that. Alright. 
I'll clean up and then um we can work on that last leg That's wow, that both runways are closed. That is absolutely wild. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like, I don't even know where I'm going. Doesn't that look like a, 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 the finish line to a race right here? Alright, so after takeoff checklist, last thing is the APU. I think everything is good. It's a ghost port. Basically, I can't believe it's closed. Somebody's here. It's wild. You got an airport with two closed runways. What the fuck? I wonder if it's closed in real life. That is a very good question. Where can we park? Um, that looks like a good spot right there. Yep, look at that, right on that line. Oh. <laughs> he said park anywhere because they're closed. That is a very, very good idea. Alright, so that's leg 140, no, 150 and 151 done. So all we got left is 152. That was from to Fef, right? F E F F one fifty two. All right, I got that updated. It says my brakes are hot. Yeah, I was kind of riding them really hard. Pause. All right, let's jump back over to this here. So Reaper, I was thinking about buying Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Thinking about it, I don't know. Thinking. He said what I restarted my <laughs> as I was thinking about buying uh Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. All right, so two nine or eight eight. It was an alright game. What do you think about the the new one? Was it Violet and Sapphire? I don't remember what color. I remember it's Violet. That's all I remember. 
All right, so for this leg, you're climbing at 39,000 feet, traveling, dang, 585 nautical miles, 17,069 pounds of fuel. All right, let's send it. We can do an insta load, 97.26.7. Legends Arceus instead. Why Legends Arceus instead? What is this thing doing? How much fuel do we have? Seventeen thousand pounds. All right. It's better. Better as far as what? I have questions. Because it doesn't even matter which one it is. They're all freaking $70 brand new. I don't want to buy another cartridge in this case. I, I would rather download it, but you, you know the way that works. It's all $70. Ridiculous. Graphically and function without lag. So, Arceus came out, and what other game came out with Arceus? I know it's just not the one. Alright, so let's get our. We landed on. Did we, we landed on 23. I had to think about that. Oh, this ain't even right though. No, this is not right. Or is it? Hold on. Yeah, we're at FCBB. We landed on 23. No, we landed on 6. And there, yeah, something ain't right with this airport, but oh well. Let's send it. Welcome back, J-Bug, Scarlet, and Violet came out after Legend Arceus, man. So, Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet are all kind of in the same thing. Alright, my brakes aren't hot no more, so I take off the brake fans. Alright, so we're going to depart on runway. 23 23 why 23 I'm just curious what it's saying the winds are 240 at 4 4 yeah I'm not gonna do 23 I'm gonna do 6 5 and So you know, no none of that. Let's clear that. And for our arrival, we're doing Sobs to Alpha to 16. R nav 16. A lot of arrivals. Shoot. Sobs to Alpha, okay. What transition? I don't know, so we're gonna have to figure that one out. Kinda both the main series game, but Scarlet Violet is not Gen 9, where it's Legend of the Legends of the Oh, I don't even know about any of that stuff. But I mean, if you say it runs better, then okay. I mean, I don't really care about all this new shit that they got got them got going on anyway. I think if I have like uh brakes are still hot, damn. Turn off the parking brake. 
Okay. Um, we are chopped right here. No, we're not chopped. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Good damn. Um, I can't even think straight right now. Yeah, as long as we got... I don't remember the name of these damn monsters. Why would you expect her to play Scarlet or Violet? She don't know none of that stuff. <laughs> she know like Pikachu. That's it. <laughs> that girl don't know Jack Diddley. All she know is Fortnite. <laughs> Are there shinies in Arceus? Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Oh god, that, that would be a pain in the butt. So, one up six. Alright, so we're ready to go. And I'm about to also push back. Thanks for the follow, Caesar. How are you doing this evening? bleed on that's going to come back and bite me in the butt of course it is that's going to bite me in the butt alright we'll wait for that to come back down there we go we got the air coming back through again uh, let's try number two Came in at a good time, Caesar. We're right on the last leg of the day. From Brazzaville to I don't know where. <laughs> well, let's figure that out right now. It's uh <laughs> my daughter knows how to be a to Bangui. We're going to Bangui. Bangui and Poco. The hell that is. Yeah, you are 100 percent right about that. She's my biggest hater. And then she'll sit there and tell you, you're hating on me. Like, no. Right, that's a good start on two, starting number one. In the meantime, I'll clear out these messages. That I thought I cleared out a long time ago. <laughs> oh man, I'll be trying to tell her she don't want to hear from me though. I think I was setting her, I set her up to 1v1, one of my friends, Eric, because he's pretty bad too, bless his heart. <laughs> so I set them, because they both be talking stuff, so I'm going to let them go at it and see who does better. And then J-Bug said he sucks, so I set him up to 1v1 her too. We're going to figure out who is the worst. Cause something gotta give. All right, that's a good start on both engines. Uh, taxi light. Oh, I never turned it off, so but let's just get that APU off. I think we should be chalked still. Yep. All right, I'm just gonna taxi out. We said we're taking off on five, right? So let's just go to the right here. She's gonna be double down. Yeah, and I'm probably just going to do like a first to five type of situation. So flaps two, trim was up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's confirm that. Yep, we look good there. Got the APU and brake fan is still going. All right, hopefully the brakes are cool. I'm going to try not to use brakes at all. The wind shear could be on. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn he cast T A R. She's always in denial, and it's crazy. For as many times as she's lost to me, you would think she'd be like, "All right, I know I can't mess with my dad. I'm just gonna uh, 
chill out a little bit. No, she keeps on going every day. Let's 1v1. But you know you're going to lose. <laughs> she lives in the night. I'm like, you know you're going to lose. I don't understand why you always want to do this to yourself. Why right turn? Probably should have slowed down for it, huh? <laughs> I'm just going to backtrack a little bit here. Do I really need to backtrack? Nah, that's more than enough on the way. Hold on. That's more than enough for anyway. Confidence is high, but the narcissist. Yeah, I don't know what I'm about to do about that. I'll be talking to her mom about it too. Like, man, she ain't got no chill. Like, she'll join the match, right? Oh, it slaps one. She'll join a match or a party of us and come in talking stuff. I'm like, you don't even, you can't even beat none of these people. Why are you talking stuff? Nowadays, I just gotta shut her up. I'll be checking her at the door, like, stop talking, please. <laughs> stop talking, please. You tripping, man. All right, take off, man, flex. SRS auto thrust movie. I'm like, you don't gotta talk stuff, man. All you gotta do is play the game. Inscription fits. That's wild. We want to rotate. Oh, my brakes are still hot. When they weren't hot a while ago, I'll leave the wheels down. How about that? Brake fan while they're in the air. This is interesting. Alright, they're cooled off. Yep. Sure it is. are hot again? What the heck? Can I leave the brake fan going? Oh, we might have a fire here. These brakes are not cool. Right, I'm it Stop cheating. <laughs> Definitely is gonna her go to stop cheating. I'm like, I'm not cheating. Look at that car. Alright. What happens if I extend my gear while we're climbing? Let's see. <laughs> At this point, y'all, I'm just trying to cool these wheels off. I don't know what's going to work. My brake fans are on, but... <laughs> Alright, there we go. They have cooled down.
great fan you still on. It's at 270 and it's not 270, 230, 265, 280. Alright, I seen one drop. 270, 230, 265, 275. I wonder why the one wheel is only 230, but the rest of them are like 270. That is very interesting. So good. Let's try turning off the brake fans. I don't see them the temperature rising. You're about ready for bed. It's only 8.30, sir. Uh, so I'm thinking the 270, 275 is the only one to keep an eye on, but I don't think 275 is bad, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Alright, so after takeoff, check this. Let's just hit all the lights. This on the spoilers. Let me see the AR right now. Let's let it continue its lovely farm. She says so. What time do you gotta wake up? I guess that'll be the, the determining factor. I guess that is kinda early. I'm not even gonna hold you. Dang, what you say dang for? So you never told me why do you have two different accounts? Goofy dude. He's like, I don't know. You might as well give me a follow with that one too. Your cousin made it to watch people. So wait, you and your cousin share an account? Oh, could you one more years? Yes, it makes sense. Gotcha. I got the login. I got the password. So were you like logged in on your phone and then logged in like on a tablet or something? I don't have much. 
switch with me, but let's say, I want to see if she's on the line. But I don't have it on me. Is there anything good in the item shop? He said, hmm. Like JJK? What's the faces for a Reaper? <laughs> you gonna watch it? JJK is pretty good. Not to a lie. Domain expansion. Exactly. Exactly. Infinite Kappa. Is that from JJK too? Hmm. Well, you know what? I forgot to put on my little mini map. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, it's pretty good. If you're in the anime, it is pretty good. You should watch it. I do recommend. I used to watch One Piece when it came on um, Cartoon Network, but it, it's way too many. I can't keep up. <laughs> it's an entire series of anime. It's probably up there with like um, Naruto with as many episodes as it has. It's it's crazy. It's too much. I just can't. I I just can't. Over a thousand exactly. It's just something that I can never ever sit down and say I'm gonna do this because um, it really is. It's way too many episodes. I'd rather watch something like Demon Slayer or something comparable. I mean, I used, I, trust me, I, when it was on Adult Swim, was it Adult Swim? I don't think it was on Adult Swim. When, when it was on, uh, 
whatever that anime thing Cartoon Network had going on at the time. I used to watch it. I used to watch it heavy, but you know, it wasn't on Adult Swim. It was on something else. And it had the robot. Um, was that a dose swim? Toonami. It was on Toonami. Yeah, Toonami. And uh, there was just no way, you know, after you know you watch it so many, so many times on Cartoon Network, they didn't have all the episodes, you know. So same thing with Dragon Ball Z. It only went to a certain point, but. I couldn't keep up with One Piece. I just decided to stick with Dragon Ball. Really, now that I think about it, Demon Slayer is like really the only one I watch nowadays. I might dip and dab in a couple episodes from here and there and the other things, but I do need to get caught up on JJK though, because it's been the last fight I watched on JJK was. Uh, was it Gojo versus, was his name Satori? The dude that ate the finger. Oh, they would transition from one to the other. Okay, that makes sense. No, Satori is Gojo. Satori Gojo. He's like, I don't know. So now I gotta Google it. Yuji Itadori, that's the one, Yuji. So he ate that finger from a demon and became cracked. And they were like fighting, destroying the city, or the city. Absolutely destroyed the city. That's the last fight I remember. He's like, never heard of it, bruh. Flight level 390 seems like a very long climb. For somebody that is empty, we are sure taking our sweet time. We're only at like 34,000. I watched all of those as well, but Ghost in the Shell took me a very long time to get into. I think I appreciate it more nowadays than I did back when I was younger. Because Ghost in the Shell is the one with the, uh, everybody was like a robot, right? Yeah. Cowboy Bebop was my shit, though. <laughs> I used to love Bebop. What was your favorite episode of Bebop? Let's see if it was the same one as mine. There's one that really 
stood out to me. I was like, yo, this is my favorite episode. So just tell me what happened in the episode. I remember them all. He said, I don't. <laughs> well, my favorite was I watched it so many damn times. Um, my favorite episode is when Spike was trying to find that, uh, what the hell was the guy? I think he was a doctor. But, he was like crazy. It's damn near the last episode. Was it the last episode? But, um. No, because it wasn't the last episode. But yeah, he was trying to find the doctor, and he was like a fat guy who could float around and shit, and he had the force field. Definitely was like he was getting his ass kicked. Yeah, by Mad was Mad Periot, Mad Piero. I guess is how you pronounce it in English. I'll show you here. You had to rewatch it. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to rewatch it. He had that cane with the, the gun in there. Bro was cracked for sure. Floating around. He over here calling him a fake penguin. <laughs> Kind of like Cry Cry's fake cat woman. A thousand feet to go. Sheesh. What's the saying that we're looking like on time? Cam's playing Call of Duty. Didn't surprise me. 52 minutes. feet 300 feet Man, I didn't even check what is it saying on optimum 398 yeah so we're flying at 390 Man I'm sitting here thinking at this point if we're at Dang, we got a less than a hundred legs left. I did that just peep that. Wow. Less than a hundred legs is crazy. Do you remember when that parasite got loose on the ship? Is that the episode you're talking about? And it was making everybody sick? In the, in the end, uh... Was it the dog that just ate at the end? It had fucked everybody up on the ship. And then at the end, I think the dog came across it and ate it. And that was the end of it.
to it. Alright, everybody was fine. I got 82 more legs to go. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it was like some parasite they picked up somewhere. It was, oh, you know what? It was something they put in the fridge and they left it in the fridge for like an eternity. And some kind of parasite emerged from it and it was making everybody on the ship sick. I believe the dog just ended up eating it again. No, it wasn't the dog. It says Ed ate it. Oh, yeah, so Ed just ate it. End the story. That means a 24 hour marathon for the last 82. Here is the, uh, the episode I was talking about. They left rot, they left lobster in the refrigerator and forgot about it for almost for over a year. That's crazy. And if you go down and look at the pictures, that picture that look like spider webs is what was inside the refrigerator. Edward. Yeah, because Julia was the girlfriend. Julia was the girlfriend. Faye was the chick with the purple hair and the exposed chesticles. Ed was the uh, the orphan. Julia had my man Spike on the on the rope, man. Act like you never left. We got a message. Hold up. Message. All right, that takes care of that. We got 398 miles to go. Jet and Ed were my favorite. Good old Ed. I wonder why they just never came up with a better name for her. I tell you what, tell you what, one game that's kicking my ass is that Metroid Dread. I love it though. Sarai likes it too. It is kicking my ass at this point. Um. Getting around that damn map is freaking crazy. I've been stuck maybe about twice now. And, you know, every day or every other day, I jump back on and revisit it and try to find some new area that I might have missed. But it's a really good game. It is a really good game. I can I know the sh to the Metroid games out at this point. The only ones I really played was um, Metroid, Super Metroid for Super Nintendo and this one. They really should have came out with one for uh, 64. Oh yeah, you dreaded definitely freaking awesome. And I'm shocked the Switch could give us the graphics that it, it gives. I'm like, what the hell?
it actually looks pretty good. Who knows? I might buy a. Um, what's the thing to transfer the capture card? I might buy a capture card and uh, stream gameplay of it a little bit, but uh, it definitely is badass. Reaper, have you played Quake ever in your life? J Bug was talking about Doom. And I'm like, I thought it was Doom that I was playing back in the day, but it was Quake 3. And I'm like, man, this takes me back. Diablo 4 was mad. He's downloading it right now. Golly, your internet is slow as snails. That's not going to be done tonight. Because you already went about four hours in. And you only got to 43%. So add another four hours. 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, you might. Have. 87 gigabytes? I mean, that's a lot of memory. To download for sure. You have God of War? No? You might be better off playing that one. As much as I don't want to play it, everybody says really good things about it. Elden Ring. What about Elden Ring? That's another one everybody says is good that I will not partake in. Elden Ring been out for a while and people are still playing Elden Ring. Highly recommend that game. That's true too. So he got it for free on the Game Pass. So he's not losing any money. Any of you guys play Doki Doki Literature Club? Doki Doki. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to grab some more drink real quick. I'll be right back. Give me like uh, two minutes at the most.
All right, I'm back. Get my life together really quick. Good. No one buddy could get knew his name. What game knew his name? I know I said I was gonna get something to drink, but I actually went and got something to eat too. I got some spaghetti. Bow ties. Darvin. I didn't search so many places in this thing. I just. I'm at a standstill. I don't. I really don't know where to go. Um. I had to get. The Morph Ball, which is every single Metroid game. Also had to get, uh. A suit. I think it's the various suit. Bro, you know how much backtracking to do? I've been to three or four different areas now. One like underground, like lava underground. One just regular underground. One's underwater. Now, just recently. Started to dip and dab in this extra arctic cold. I don't have the suit to go in there really too far. Oh, I know that's right. I wonder if it tells you how much time you already put on the game. Save it. Of course, you won't let me go back. Um, where the hell can I save? Down here. Perfect. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. This some bullshit. How come I can't go down? What the? So that makes. Oh, I gotta go back this way. But yeah, on the scale from 1 to 10, Reaper, I'll give this a 10 for sure. No hesitation. It runs smooth. There's really no glitching or anything like that. The only time you ever see it like... Okay, I can save here. The only time you ever see it like stop to think or anything like that is... When you are transitioning from area to area and then they have this animation like she'll just be standing there damn off of a speed ran this shit I think you should get it Reaper I can't believe people speed run this I guess they speed run everything Be like me and do not pay full price. 
because the whole point of me getting this switch was to um, download games, right? Be right back. All right. Yeah, it does tell you how long you've been playing. It said six hours and 14 minutes. I've been on this thing for a good amount of time. Right, hey, look, we're almost there. About 240 miles out. It says 290. Damn, bro. I was gonna be flying around Africa. I was really excited because I didn't know what to expect as far as you know visually. But I can't see anything ever. I can't see anything. It's always cloudy, it's always hazy. Like I how many African airports I haven't been to already? I've been to One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm on my fourteenth one now. I've been to fourteen different countries in Africa already. And can't see anything really good because of clouds or rain. I feel like I'm being robbed of my experience. All I know is when I go to Egypt, I better see some pyramids. Another thing I'm gonna look at. There is an, an achievement that you get once you visit X amount of airports. And I'm trying to see you have to land that I think it is it five hundred airports? Yeah, world traveler. It says land successfully at five hundred different airports. I got 61% of that done already, so... So I got 305 airports to go? That can't be right. No, I've been at 305 or so. I did that backwards. So... I need 195 Man, that's a lot of airports because even by the time I'm done with this and I only have 82 I'm still gonna need like another 80 something but I'll be very close at that point 500 airports is crazy what I'll probably end up doing is I'm 
maybe if I do like some Alaska flying, bush flying, and take something slow and that can land on short fields or something and just go from airport to airport or even like in California since everything is so close there it's airports everywhere in California I can just do touch and goes with something gotta give I guess I can get a little comfortable. It's about less than a half an hour to go. I'm ecstatic. It already says our nav 16 is wrong. Can get charts for this airport, I believe, right? Yep. Mm, poco loco, so so me, I got a dope flow that'll leave you lit for weeks. Alright, so Bangui and Poco Airport. Runway 16 and 34. We're planning for 16. Mm. Let's take a quick look and see what the weather is recording. Because if it's just light winds, then we probably might just go for 34. Oh yeah, it's saying no wind. So yeah, let's uh... Let's double check this really quick. Yeah, that means our was from the game. So yeah, this is do ILS Yankee 34. Same arrival, Sarah. Let me see something here. I might have to edit one thing here to see if our arrival changes. I'm going to change it to 1834. So we're saying the Sabbath 2K. Savage 2K. And the only transition is MPK. And MPK is in the field. Yeah, we're not doing that transition then. right there. That's why we're not doing MPK. Absolutely not. Let's delete MPK. So from two sot to CF34Y. That'll work. And 
that's why we had so much extra miles on it. Cause I'm like, yeah, this doing loops. There we go. That actually looks perfect. All right, so airport elevation is 1,200 feet. Runway is 8,530 feet long. 34 is loaded with lights. High intensity runway lighting. It's a cool. Pappy's on the left, three degree. Glide. All that good stuff. All right, so let's look at arrival. The Saab Satu Kilo arrival. So, So Sabsa 2 Kilo. It's gonna come here from Sab to the Fox Fox 019 to Tucson. And then we'll probably just go straight into the ILS that way. Alright, so, arrival is brief, there is no constraints or anything like that, let's take a look at the approach, the ILS Yankee 34, I forgot, I probably should have did Zulu, probably should have did Zulu, Seasal on Zulu, no, we're just all good, we'll just go with the Yankee, um, Eyeless Yankee, localized Yankee, runway 34, frequency 110.3, final approach course 344, and it's at the glide slope at 3,000 feet, which is 5.7 for BGI. Uh, DA is 1382, need that right now. taken care of and out of the way. Um, back to the charts. Alright, so 13E2 is a DA. So simple. Intercept at 3000. Start descent in. 
Um, missed approach, climb straight ahead on runway access at 2600, then turn left climbing at 3600 to join VOR. And then fly over MPK, fly out 5.7 from BGI, right turn 209, then loop back in, left turn 029, and pick up the localizer again at 3,000 feet, so. It is simple enough. And it is a three degree glide slope. Good deal. All right, so we'll be descending in 54 miles. We'll be going to 3,000 feet, so I'll just dial that in here. All right, so we are briefed, set up for arrival. We're on the, we're on the arrival now, right? Here we are. Oh, yeah. We started at south, so it's not the scale, so. It's a very short arrival. Look at it. So I'm going to hold it. Is Dane even on today? Yeah, he did a... Uh... Welcome back, sir. Oh, he did Phoenix to Palm Springs. And that was only like an hour and a half. Another short flight. Okay. That makes sense. Reaper, you gotta land this plane. This one's on you. I was trying to see how long I actually been on this game. I already done put six hours into it, and I'm lost as hell. That's what I was telling you when you left. Six hours and 14 minutes. Lost as hell. in my multi-case thing. One more cartridge reaper. One more. So I don't want to download any more games. Like I really, I mean, I don't want to buy any more. But Nintendo's smoking work. I absolutely refuse.
did tell me a different game. Sixty dollars too. Golly. I don't know. I'm looking at it now, Re Reaper. Uh, I don't think I like the 3D in it. He said I'm not paying attention at all. I don't think I like the the way this looks. I'm looking at Arceus. They had like a video on their website. about old Japan this this is like really old Japan it looks like why did they even do that what the hell Rather more of a Game Boy style look. Hmm. You're not getting that anymore. I mean, I understand that always time is saying. I mean, I get that, but if you, which one came first? I'm guessing Diamond did. Diamond and Sapphire, or Diamond and Pearl, right? Did that come first. The looks of that looks a lot more Game Boy-ish than anything. What's the first game? Okay, so Arceus is the first one. And I'm not sure I like, if I like that ancient Japan looking. Diving 8,000 feet per minute, 8,500 feet per minute. Hmm. 
Which makes sense because it looks old as hell. It's just pulling the Star Wars releasing games out of sequence. Correct? Is uh is Lugia in all these games? Now that mo dead. I'll be fine as long as I can catch a Gengar. Ghastly and evolve it to a Gengar. Gengar! He said, not Arceus. Scarlet and Violet, yes. What about diamonds and pearls? Taking it from home and putting it in Scarlet. I don't. Okay. I think I understand what you're saying. Like in the computer. That's the way that I'm understanding that. Like. End game content. Games make shit so difficult. Like, why can't we just do the regular normal thing? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. It's beyond my pay grade. But, thinking about it, maybe if. Yeah, I figured it was a PC when you said home. Okay, that's cool that they, they did it like that. I was thinking more like um, it was probably like on a cloud something. You know how you can go into your PC and Bill's PC and Profolk's PC and do all that stuff? Okay, that's, that's cool. Mm, that is actually cool. I gotta start doing some raids. I mean, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. So, could you bring your stuff from red and blue over? Or it only goes back so far? I guess we would be kind of far back because uh, there's no way to connect it to an app, right? So then my question would be, where did that start? When did you start having access to this PC? Oh, it's actually evening time now. Sun is just setting. Ain't nothing but trees below us.
have a 3DS? Do I have a 3DS? Are you flying a plane? Because I am not paying attention. <laughs> Sir, you got the juice. Yeah, I heard that new one had all kinds of issues. My thing is, I don't like all that extra BS that they got going on. Like, it was so much better when it was just simple. They didn't overcomplicate the game. You got monsters turning into bikes and shit. That's just too much. I don't I don't like overly, overly complicated concepts. Like, it was simple and effective back in the day. And now y'all done turned it into something completely horrendous in my eyes and I'm just like I'm over it I'll, I'll never want to play that game it was so simple at one point in time to the point and easy you didn't have to worry about none of that extra BS I mean you could have brought more detail to that type of stuff but Five thousand nine hundred. <laughs> he said, "Denies that even further." Yeah, it's starting to get really dark here. All right, so let's just turn on the APU now and get it out of the way. All right, Reaper, put your seatbelt on, buddy. It's about that time. We are on a left base. I'd love to slow it down. Way. Let's see some speed brakes. Trapped in a rated park dirt sample. A lot of green greenery out here. Uh, I see the field over there. Alright, let's slow her down a little bit. Flaps one and there's transition altitude. Let's hit the ILS. 
press button we have a bright slope and a localizer just waiting for the localizer to get active he said plenty of dirt There's water in front of us it's overhead everything looks good up there all right turning final flaps two Ten point nine miles out. You don't want water samples. All right, runways in sight. Localizer is alive, and we are lined up. Glide slope is alive as well. All right, flaps full. Approach mode enabled. Alright, so we got Cat 3 single. And we are still slowing down, so everything is good to go. Let's put that uh, nose light on. Alright, let's take a look at this airport again just to make sure we know where we're going. Hurry, you got Witwicks to watch him. Sorry, man. We can we can raid Witwicks right after. How about that? All right, so we're making a right turn to the second taxiway. All right. Is that a deal, Reaper? Sounds good. All right. What is Witwicks playing? Type his name in the chat. Is it really W I T W I X? Two sides. Kaizo Ironmon. Witwicks, okay. If I remember. It's like black slash raid and then the person's name, right? All right, gear down. Spoilers on. How are my seatbelt signs? Uh, seatbelt signs are on. What are they talking about? That might be a bug, because that's where I didn't touch seatbelt signs. Very populated area. One thousand. He said raw ID name. What's that mean? Raw ID ID name. Oh, raid ID name. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> I got you now, buddy. Gave me 12 months. I see where your loyalty is. 100 I don't above. even know you for nine years. And here comes our minimums. 200. Minimum. Oh, kind of 
fifth. First or set. I think that's where I was supposed to turn at. Guitar Hero. I almost lost it, not paying attention. Uh, yeah, that's where I was supposed to turn. So let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, where did we say this was again? It's not Brazzaville. It was uh, Mpoko, right? Yeah, Bangui, Mpoko. Just our lights. Oh, into the dirt we go. There's your dirt samples. Something told me I wasn't straight. I was like, the switch is taking forever to turn. I wish they would fix that click spot. Lord, I do. Let's find a parking spot. Uh, <coughs> I like that one right there. Sixteenth badge. How many badges are there? Jesus Christ, you see what I'm talking about? Sixteen badges is crazy. Oh my god, what a turn that was. It's as good as it's gonna get. Alright, so break set. Masters off. Lights on. Fuel pumps, beacon, wrong button, ground services, let's get the steps, and the... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to Bangui. That's one, f leg 152 in the books. Our next leg it will be Monday and we are going to Fox Tango Tango Juliet in the Jamena International Airport where the hell is that one at in the Jamena Airport uh, in Chad okay in the Jamena bad runaway drive <laughs> All right, yeah, so 153 will just be one leg by itself since it seems to be about 500 some odd miles away, so we can knock that out in one soup and be done. Um, looking at the rest of them afterwards, yeah, so yeah, 154 and 155 will be solo missions, so cool. 
Reaper wants to raid uh, Witwicks, so we'll raid Witwicks here in a second. Uh, thank you for those who gave us follows. Reaper again, thank you for the sub. And I guess I'll catch you guys on the next turn. See you at Witwicks. Although I don't know what to expect, right? Later, bud.